assalamu alaikum uh, in this lecture we are going to find the inductance of a single phase line so there are two conductors in the single phase line and uh, uh, the conductor number 1 has a radius r1 and the conductor number 2 has radius r2 and the distance between the two conductors is d now whenever we are going to find an inductance for example uh, due to current from the conductor number 1 the current uh, in the conductor number 2 will be considered to be zero as it is evident from the figure that the radius r1 and r2 they are very small in comparison to d so we will be considering d plus r2 and d minus r2 is equal to d and uh, the magnetic field lines or magnetic flux lines that we are considering that will be Uh, between the two conductors so they will be starting from uh, the conductor r1 and they will be ending till conductor r2 for example this magnetic flux line will not be considered uh, in the inductance calculations so uh, if we have to find the inductance due to current from conductor number 1 then there are two parts of the inductance one is due to the internal flux and the other one is due to the external flux right so uh, the formula for the internal flux one was 1 over 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 and for the external one is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d2 over d1 and these two distances are from point p2 and p1 respectively so this is the total inductance in henry per meter per unit length so it has uh, considering both internal and external flux impact on the inductance now if i have to uh, simplify this equation there are two parts so if i will uh, take common 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 then i can write this one as 1 by 4 when i am taking two common so this will become 1 by 4 and natural log with base e 1 by 4 is equal to 1 by 4 and inside this bracket these two terms will be multiplied because in nature if in logarithm if two values two values are being added that we can multiply them right so d over r1 into e so the actual term will be d over r1 into epsilon 1 by 4 but i have taken this epsilon into the denominator so this is r1 epsilon minus 1 by 4 and the value of this epsilon minus 1 by 4 will be 0.778 so if you will look at this particular equation this is the same formula for the inductance that was calculated for the external flux so when we were finding the uh, inductance outside the conductor we got the formula that was 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d2 over d1 so this is the same formula but we are not having the uh, term that was 1 over 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 that was representing the inductance due to internal flux right but that is compensated in this r1 dash term so r1 dash term is actually is equal to r1 epsilon minus 1 by 4 so this term is actually compensating for that constant value 1 over 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 that was calculated for the inductance uh, due to internal flux so this equation actually tells you about Uh, you about the fictitious conductor whose radius is r1 dash will have the same effect or same value when we were considering two different inductances one due to internal flux and one due to the external flux right but looking at this equation it will show you that uh, the inductance that is calculated it does not have any uh, inductance uh, 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 does not have any internal flux impact right so this is the inductance value uh, uh, for a conductor Con current that is only passing through conductor number 1 now if we have to write the same equation for the uh, situation when the current is flowing through conductor number 2 then the formula will only change in this point right so r1 dash is replaced by r2 dash and this is the inductance when the current is flowing in conductor number 2 now if we have to find the uh, inductance for the whole circuit we will have to add both the inductances l1 and l2 so when we will add them l is equal to 
l1 plus l2 so l1 value is uh, into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d over r1 dash plus 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d over r2 dash so this will become 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 into ln d over r1 dash plus ln d over r2 dash and further simplifying will make it ln d square over r1 dash r2 dash so this will be the formula that will be used when the adi of the conductor will be different for both the conductor for conductor number two and conductor number one if r1 and r2 are equal then inductance formula will be 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d square over r square and it will be converted into 4 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d over r so this will be the inductance of the whole circuit when both the conductors have the same radii but if the radii are not same then the formula will be l is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 ln d square over r1 dash so whenever you have to find the inductors of a single phase line and then you can use either this formula or this formula dependent on the radii of the conductor thank you